Radhika Kumar battles fear all day long. Her best tools are her script, her powers of persuasion, and her phone. The Los Angeles County Public Health Specialist is one of the Southern California's growing army of contact tracers and among thousands doing the job across Southern California, in San Bernardino, Orange and Riverside counties. She asks question after question, seeking to the tamp down the spread of coronavirus by connecting with people who have tested positive, and finding where they've been and who they've been with. The jobs changed a little bit, she said, but one theme endures, it's about educating the public. In LA, the army of tracers, made up of many county, city and state employees, is about 2,000 strong at the moment, with 800 new contact tracers currently in training, Ferrer said. That's a far cry from the 250 the county started off with. Riverside County boasts 340 tracers, which includes 60 in training, a substantial bump since June 25, when the county had 220. Orange County public health officials could not be reached for comment Tuesday. The goal, break the chain of exposure. Find the people who may have been infected and keep them from infecting others. At stake, officials say, is the future of the local economy, and the public health of millions. On the other end of the phone, she often confronts fear. Fear among the infected, and the folks they've been with, that they will be sacrificing their privacy. Fear of outing someone else who may be sick, and not even know it yet. Fear of giving up information unrelated to the outbreak, such as citizenship or employment status. And, moreover, fear of the disease itself. It's killed more than 3, 800 people in LA County so far and the trendline says the infected are getting younger. And in the Inland Empire and OC, the numbers are just as bad, straining hospital capacity as positivity rates spike. That's plenty to be fearful of. Kumar, of Pomona, is a county employee. As a public health specialist, her skill set is buoyed by 10 years in health education. Like most of her peers, she works from home, plugged into her phone and computer. Her task is vital. And the timing is poignant. L. County, hardest hit county in the state, topped 140,000 cases this week. Demand for testing is surging, putting unprecedented stress on the supply chain for PPE and testing gear. Outbreaks are reported at businesses across the county, at meatpacking plants, nursing care centers, garment factories and myriad other sites. Communities of color, some difficult to connect with, continue to shoulder huge, disproportionate burdens. Not everyone is forthcoming, at least at first. There is an art to the job, which simultaneously has to offer empathy, let the contacted tell their story and make sure there's sufficient information gathered. Hello? How are you doing? Listen attentively.